And we're back very quickly from map two here for this UEC. It is a Piper Farm, 272 on the server count, 137 for the defending CSA, 135 for the Union. And, am I, and I am joined again here by Mr. Fuji from the 4th Georgia. Hello, everyone, again. Yep. And so, uh, on this map in general here, so it looks like uh, Fort Georgia is going to be on the Union team. What, what kind of things uh, are you expecting to see from this Union team here on this map? I'm really hoping to see some seriously aggressive plays here because, I mean, you can see the Confederacy has that defensive advantage. So you've got to really push it through and the moment there's any sort of gap in the confederate lines you've really got to exploit it um otherwise you're just going to get bogged down and that is how a lot of the games on this map end up going a lot of bogging down and no real progress on either side uh i think it's going to be fun and interesting with the start of the with the three minute or hang on the 10 minutes sorry no bayonets and sprinting rule yeah, I, I was uh, kind of surprised how close that was on the last map here. This will be an interesting one. Um, but yeah. with that said, let's take a look at the two teams. And I'll do the CSA first, because last time I skipped them over. So we've got Surflex Captain Type on LFL for one gun. And we got Sergeant Leo for another gun. Let's see, then we've got 52nd New York, the Lee's French Legion on the infantry. Alabama German Legion. Yeah, 56 Virginia, the SB, dancing, and 3rd Alabama, and I think I saw SR around here somewhere. Also on the guns, we got 3rd Alabama has one crew, or two crews. Um, Jeff Davis Battery, Lieutenant Fork, and Captain, not Captain, not Captain, Corporal Baron. Let's see, for officers, we've got... LFL's under Hookah, AGL's under Juicy B, John Beck under 52nd, Williamson leading 3rd Alabama, Major Venom leading SB, and Slaughter is leading the 56th, and that is everyone. All right, so anything stand out to you about the CSA team? Anybody you, you'd be uh, worried about facing? Uh, well, LFL, they, I've, so they can't, they seem to be like sort of a seesaw in these events. Sometimes they seriously perform extremely well. And they, like, they really get the numbers in and they can really outshoot a lot of people. Um, and then sometimes they sort of dither and that costs their team a lot. Yeah, we'll see which so, one they bring for this map here. Yeah, definitely uh, interesting to see. Third Alabama, though, um, I'm interested in seeing how they perform in this one with Williamson. Uh, he did some pre he did pretty well in that last yeah, yeah. round, so I'm expecting great things. Let's see, and then checking out this Union team here. So GC has two guns here under Mr. Pingu, and we've got your boys, the Fort Georgia, under Carl uh, Girat. I'm, yeah. I think I screwed it up again, even though you corrected yeah. me last time. I, to be honest with you, I, I probably seen me wrong as well. And then we also have two core under Monster Q. See, and then we'll swing up to the Union and check out their team as they're starting to move up already. Oh, the CSA has a very advanced uh, defense here along this fence yeah, here. They've, I don't, I, they've I'll, really I'll have to wait up. for intros here. Let's take a look and I'm, see how this action goes. Well, it looks like they're forming up on this fence line with the snake fence and the picket fence here on that corner. Um, and it looks like they might be able to get some serious flanking shots into what appears to be an unawares 20th Georgia. Yeah, yeah, they're getting in there. And this is combined with an SP push directly to the front of the Georgians. They are getting seriously hammered by that. Oh, and Williamson is moving up. Look at, look at this there's flank. A, there's a huge, yeah, okay. This is a huge Confederate push. Um, they've really moved up, uh, but if you have a look to the Confederate left flank, you've got a huge Union regiment moving up there. They are being contested yeah, by the AGL, uh, although the AGL looks like they're being cut down. They've stood in the open in the road, whereas the uh, ANV Union have the advantage of a piece of wood. No, a killer is usually uh, deadly from the side. Oh, wait a second, here comes Slaughter though. Yeah, let's say Slaughter's moving into support. Which is definitely a good idea. Uh, they have the advantage of some stones to defend them against the uh, musket round. Although that range, you, you'd be looks hard like A and B is pulling back. 
Yeah. So 56 it's... has secured that flank, at least for now. Okay, so they've definitely they pushed that attack there, uh, which means that the Flood Alabama do not need to worry about an attack from the Union from the rear. No, uh, but uh, so now I'm looking at the far left side. Looks like the Union has pushed up pretty far here, though. Yeah, they've got an opening is... here. Yeah, the Confederacy has really concentrated on that corner of the cornfield, but at the cost of allowing these regiments of the Union to spread out along this wall, which is, you know, you've got a stone wall with a picket fence. So that's really gonna, that's really gonna help the Union uh, with that, with that, in my opinion, overcommitment by the Confederacy. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I agree with you in principle, but I, I would have moved up further as the Union. I would have taken these guns out. You got, uh, you know, 3rd Alabama here with a couple guns. I, I would have charged these guys out. At least with one element here. You got 52nd, you know, they're not a huge yep. unit. You got some openings. You could kind of turn this uh, flank up here, I think. Uh-oh, did I lose you, Fuji? I think I lost Fuji. <laughs> oh, Lord. I apologize for that. I'll try to reconnect and uh, catch up to Fuji here. Put it back in the action here until I can reconnect with Fuji here. <laughs> I'm, I'm here. Oh, there we go again. I, I think yep. I, I think I uh, lost connection for a second there from you. I kept on the game, but for some reason Discord decided. To... For me, you just sort of left the Discord, so probably some issues on that end. Yeah, but anyway, um, um so looks uh, like yeah, we have really... a charge forward here from the Union to clear out so those the guns. Union are. I think that's their really their only option in this position. Um, otherwise, it's going to allow the Union to just push up unopposed, really. Um, which a bunch from the 8th Florida have. Um, although we do have two corps moving in to oppose them, although their officer just got wiped out. Oh wait, no, two corps friendly. I don't know what I'm saying. No, uh, it looks like they've the, the, that side is open from what I can see. Yeah, no, it looks like the Union has taken that left or their left flank. So, th yeah, there's no real Confederate opposition on top of the hill, and they've pushed the artillery This usually doesn't happen. This is weird. Um, I think I got you back now. <laughs> uh, I usually don't have issues with Discord. No. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, think, there yeah, we go. Discord's I think I, having some issues. Yeah, Discord, I think, has thrown us off a little bit, but uh, ho hopefully we'll be able to drive on. Uh, oh, well. All right. We have a move by the LFL here to push the Union off the top of the hill here. And I think it's going to work. The Union do not have the numbers to uh, oppose. Um. The melee slog at the bottom of the hill is still ongoing. Um, yeah, dude, I, I'm not so sure about this, though. I mean, look at the tickets. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, this this little melee has been going on for a relatively long time. Like, it's been quite extended. Uh, I mean, it's tied up this Union unit down at the bottom of the hill, which is good for the Confederacy, because now, as you can see, it's allowed their units to recover the cannons and move a regiment of infantry up. So it's probably good that they were able to delay them because I think the Union would have been able to properly exploit that had that regiment, uh, the 6th Texas, not been held down by the SB. I, I think you might be right. I'm just worried about how much it cost them. Yeah, you are right. I mean, obviously, even though it's relatively even in the tickets bar, obviously, as the Confederacy are the defenders from, I believe, uh, are, yes, yes, uh, CSA's Yeah, they're going to have that lower ticket count uh, totally. Move up, so, move if, up. You, if you're even, you're losing as defender, is my general rule. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, again, though, that that slog is still going on. Uh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, uh, we get, shot we, from the Union. Yeah, that's a hard shot, though, for the uh, Union. Yeah, they're, they're really far away, and then if you look at the Confederate battery, they're, they're pretty much right there. In fact, they're even close. I feel like they're even closer sometimes than we were in the last match. 
But we do have a bit of a fight developing in the center of the map here. Yeah, we have a bit of a fight here, but as you can see, um, it's you've kind of got that salient going on here with the Union further back on the le on the Confederate left, whereas the Union's further forward on the Confederate right. In fact, SB has taken serious losses, and they've actually lost their flag now. Yeah, and I think this can... Uh... They've got it back, but they, they got it back. But again, this this is uh, I'm not a fan of this right now. I think this is really I I would have pulled that yeah venom. I would have pulled out way earlier. I mean, there, there he, goes he venom. Did, he did what he needed to do. He saved the arty, but now it, uh, yeah, I think he's he, overcommitting to it. In terms of historical things, that reminds me of the Scots Greys at Waterloo. They've really they did an excellent job at the start, but they they overcommitted and they got completely decimated. A little bit of Napoleonic history there, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, but that's what I think's happened right here, because as you can see, that Confederate unit on the right, that's been wiped out pretty much. They're going to be... they're gone. And that might even bring the uh, Confederacy down. Yeah. Russo, oh, Russo's charging into his rear now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, so that Confederate right flank, that, well, that forward position... Oh, forward. now they're at engaged. Yeah. Confederacy behind. down to engaged. So that's certainly... Yeah, I think the Confederacy made a bit of a mistake there, holding on to that as long as they did. Yep, so now we got about one minute thirty left. So let me ask you, as the defender here, how do you, how would you advise them if you had like the God mode and could give orders to all these units? What do you uh, think the uh, CSA should be doing right now? They really need to, t they really need to get that right flank dealt with. But I'd concentrate the artillery on that, personally. The uh, got, CSA right or the yeah, Union right? A, a CSA right, sorry. Okay. I mean, because you've got that huge amount of Union units just standing there. And, I mean, they're being opposed by the 52nd New York here up on the hill. But there's nothing really stopping the Union from pushing forward, really. I mean, it's relatively open and they do outnumber them. So if they move, they might have been able to... They might be able to do it if they pushed. No, I, I, I agree. I mean, 3rd Alabama's kind of turned on them now, and, and Fort George is trying to hold them back, but... Oh, now yeah, here's um, Tuka. Yeah, I think the Union, they won that victory against the uh, against Venom there, but they didn't exploit it. There's been a lot of... They've been winning the engagements, making an opening, but they haven't been exploiting them. Um, so that's twice now in this single match that yeah. I've seen that personally. Yeah. Now it is tough. You don't have bayonets. You don't have sprinting yeah, right now. It, so exploiting yeah, I mean, I is think, always tough when in that yeah. restriction because it's like, I think well, I can now, cross, but you know it yeah. takes me so long to do it. Yeah, I, I think now with the bayonets being able to be fixed, we're going to see some proper exploitation um, from various regiments on both sides. Uh, obviously, here we have the Confederate LFL and Third Alabama right slap bang in the middle. Um, and with the Union on their left, the Union left, with uh, two core and small, and the skirmishers with uh, 8th Florida. I think 8th Florida are going to have a bit more um, luck being skirmishers on this map than they did the last map. So that's a good Hello, jumping to the oh. other side of the map. We got some AGL versus A and V movement going on. Oh, we have a we have a charge. Third Alabama has just charged in and wiped out two core. Oh, did they over on this side? Yeah, they too? just yeah. charged in. It's gone. I mean, Ju Private Julian there, last Union man alive. Oh, yeah. And he's going. He's going to be gone. Two unsuspecting uh, Union soldiers going to run in, hoping to rejoin uh, their regiment. They're going to get a nasty surprise when uh, Although they they've that. I was going to say, they've traded because A and V has now wiped out uh, yeah. AGL. They own this oh. other side of the field. Oh, yeah. We've got some serious wiping going on. Um, like you said, as soon as the base came on, everybody started moving. Yep. But major issue I'm seeing here on the Union left, no one's picking up that Union flag down the floor. They've just left it there. I've, I saw three Union men walk right over the thing. Um... And that's probably gonna that's probably gonna cost the Union that left flank. I, I, although, I, I agree although, with you, although the right I think is now this now the play. Yeah, although the third Alabama don't think they're aware of the small element of the Union that is to their rear, because they've got their backs turned. 
No, yeah, I don't think they see the 8th floor, and it looks like another unit's coming up here. Oh, looks Georgia. like they, they got off a volley. Oh, McIntyre's in charge of Fort Georgia, this one. Okay. Oh, he's taking this one, is he? Okay, so Mac's coming over to uh, try and counter that. It looks like Williams is going to run in solo. With, oh, he's led the rest, but he went down. So did Mac. Uh, I think so third Alabama's going to win this melee. Yeah. Confederacy's yeah. going to beat that. They just had the numbers, and... Uh, Fourth Georgia yeah, there but was again, just... I'm looking, looking at the center of the field now, looking at the right flank, it's it's the Union has taken the uh, yeah. army position. Yeah, Union's taken the, well, the Union right has managed to seriously do this. Um, they've pretty much done the exact same they did on the left, um, although LFL's coming in for a charge. And they're coming up against Jumbo on the yeah. 20th, we'll see if uh, Jumbo yeah. can hold them. But if you have a look to the rear, SB is now onto that rear, and so they're going to be firing straight to the backs of the Union. Some really good shots there. Nice, accurate shots with the, uh, the rifled muskets that we have there. But... So, yeah, LFL's probably going to win this charge, but now you've got that SB unit and another unit backing them up on that fence line. Yeah, so, I mean... They do, but it's 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 hard to get these the union off of these positions. Oh yeah, here. no, the union's now in a very advantageous position, as you can see. I mean, it looks like twentieth Georgia and sixth Texas sort of amalgamation here, oh, and fourth Georgia are, are going to utilize the caissons from the artillery as cover. Uh, and I mean, looks like we've got the LFL forming up an open order there on the hay bales, uh, but. It's, oh, Ooh, so mind. that already come in, yeah. Yeah, never mind. That that definitely hurt some people. I, I mean, it hurt them, but look at the tickets now. Look how much... Uh... Yeah, I mean, as a defenders, you do not want that to be like that. Yeah. So that even even bad. if you take this back, it's going to cost you doing it. Yeah, I mean, they've lost this many tickets losing it. I mean, taking it back is going to be pretty costly. Uh, unless the Union just sort of up and leave, which at this point, I think they're going to really fight for this but if you look in the center once again we've got the third alabama it right pushing up ahead with williamson yeah i think he's trying to eat up catch some small units that are not suspecting coming up which is not yeah. a better oh wait we got charge here let's see on the uh... oh yeah yeah i see it confederate charge push it's pushed the union away from the artillery the other... hookah's so, retaken uh, in here yeah major hoka has uh He's, uh, he's, he's, he's pushed them off. He's taken his cannons back at, at very low cost, minimal cost that from was, what I was expecting. Yeah, that's a um, very key uh, move right there. I would have, I, as the union personally, I would have, uh, I would have fought for that, even though he probably could have, what. Well, Probably got wiped from that. No, it looks like they've waited yeah. much of the defense to this road, which I think is fine for a fallback. But I would have waited more to the, uh, the yeah. cannons. I would have left yeah, maybe just one I would have, back here. I would have made them fight to retake that position, but as you can see, they've they really pretty much took that without a fight. And, there, and the Union just walked out. Yeah. Now, I mean, it's an L position for the Union, but they're in a crossfire, and the CSA yeah. will get the cannon singing here soon. Yep, and the Union left is just empty. We've just got one small regiment, maybe the 8th Florida, doing some skirmish action. Yep. So you've got the 8th Florida still back on the left. The Union flag just dropped in the middle with no one going for it. Although... It looks like we might have a, might be uh, the two core going to recover that. Yep, and so um, I would say, I mean, look at the tickets now. CSA has aimed it up. Yep, they've done a really good job evening that up, retaking the uh, artillery position with minimal losses there. And to be honest with you, now, now looks like they're pushing the Union back. Seeing significant Confederate forces moving to that road, and it's. It's going to be pretty costly for the Union, I believe. Looking east, boys. Looking east. Yeah, I mean, they're in a bit of a crossfire, and they kind of lose. When you all jump together here, I think you lose a little bit of command and control, too. It's tough to get units to maneuver when you're under this kind of constant fire. Yeah, I mean, they've got that. They have that cover, and I just heard the call for fall back. Um, what do you think of that decision? For the Union, it's probably... It's difficult, because they were... I mean, Russo's regiment is just gone. You can see them on that road. They're just gone. There's no one left. Um, so I suppose Russo's specific call to fall back was good. But the fact that no one 
is really moving to counter its confederate charge. I mean, they're all still pretty much looking at the field. And it looks like Williams is going to lead a huge charge straight down the Union lines on this road. Pretty much opposed into the sides and rears of all these regiments. Yeah, I mean, the most, dang the most uh, danger unit it's in is when they do a withdrawal. So yep. once that call happens, it, it, it's, it's very dangerous. Yeah. You can't, you know, give an so opening. That's Union right flank completely dealt with. Um, but if you have a look on the Union left, you'll see a small regiment that's going to be Florida again still. Doing some skirmish action, they've moved forward a little bit. There's no real opposition other than the cannons. No, uh, would you, uh, if you were 8th Florida right now, would you, uh, cap? Um, but I, I'm not sure on the rules on skirmishes. I mean, I don't think they can charge in this event, can they? They can charge, They, they but they can, they can cap right. though. Right, okay. So if they can charge, I would... The guns aren't even facing them. To be honest with you. And when you say you can't charge, you can walk up to somebody and shoot them. You just can't bait yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. They, so they can, they can do that. So I'd have the eighth. I mean, the eighth floor are doing some good work, but I mean, they definitely shooting these artillery crew. But personally, I'm I'm not sure what effect on the battle that's going to really do because the cannons that they're aiming at aren't even facing the, any Union lines. They're just shooting the cannons in the distance. No, uh, and, and the other thing I would kind of point to right now is the clock I'm a little bit nervous on if I was the attacker. Yeah. And try to see, even, even I'm slowing it up by two or three minutes just to kind of let my guys reset. Yeah. It, it's, it's, you know, the time might become their enemy soon. Yeah, it's, yeah, that, that huge Confederate push on the Confederate left has really dealt a huge blow to the Union. Um, it's going to be pretty difficult to recover from that. They lost a lot of tickets. They lost their ticket lead. And, well, they might... It looks like they're, ev they're even in the ticket bar, from what I can see. Yeah, yeah, just about. And, oh, wait, here comes Williamson, though. He's going to move down the center line yeah. here. Williamson's going to move down that center. Um, we've, got the, we've got Philip Slaughter here, 56th Virginia. He's taking some pot shots. At the uh, 6th Texas, which is on the opposite side of the field I, to him. I really love this angle of attack that Williamson did, if you saw it. Yeah, I've just, yeah, I've seen that. He's really, he's really wiping out that, red, that Union line. I mean, there. he came in from, you know, he came in from the side. He got, he went for the flag first, and he pinned them against the, uh, the stone wall, so he didn't really have a, a retreat, so. You can see he's won that pretty handily. All right, let's see. You still hear me, Fuji, or did I lose you? Oh, did I lose you, Fuji? All right, I think I lost Fuji, unfortunately, but um, we'll see if he comes back in. For now, we'll just uh, keep driving on and seeing what we got. Hopefully, I'll have that set, and I'll have that hopefully fixed for next time. I haven't really had too many problems with uh, using Discord or um, these co-commentaries before, so a little peeve. This is not working like it usually does. That's no one's fault. Maybe my fault. Maybe my fault. But anyway, so here we are. Taking losses for both teams at 19.30. Hello, hello. is being worked on. Oh, am I back? Oh, wait, wait, I think I got you yep. back now. Yeah, I, I'm right. back. Like I said, I, I, I apologize. I, usually I don't have these issues. I might have to figure out what's going on. 
Yeah. I, I think this is the it's first like, time I've had drops like this for the Discord. It's like uh, Discord's having a bit of a moment today. But uh, anyway, uh, so um, now we're taking losses, both teams here at 18.30. All right, 18, yeah, 18 minutes taking losses, and Confederacy's really pushed the Union back, it looks like. But, I mean, still plenty of time. Um, for oh, yeah, still plenty of time to make any moves. It looks like we've got, speaking of, looks like we've got a major attack here in the center. Yeah, looks like it's a nice big charge by Killer, looks like here. Um, looks like he's going to get along that. He's going to go right in there with that proper charge. Just shoot, shoot him in the face. That's probably your best bet there, to be honest with you. A huge Union force now. 6th Texas, 20th Georgia. They're all forming up in that center line. Not too sure about bunching up that close. Uh, personally, I would spread out just a little bit to really spread the Confederate forces. Would you Would you carry up? Carry forward the attack, or would you stay on the uh, wall for a little bit? Uh, I'd say that center needs to hold that, so Killer and the Sixth Texas need to hold that. But if you have a look at the Fourth Georgia and the Eighth Florida, I and that Max doing well, exactly what I was thinking. He's pushing up on the empty Confederate line here on the left flank, along with looks like uh, the uh, two core uh, with Major Frag Thragon Thargon. Him. Oh, uh, through gone, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, he looks like he's also exploiting that, which is exactly what I was expecting to see. Um, and the Union going to really, it looks like they're going to reclaim or recapture that artillery position on the hill from the Confederacy. Yeah, and they're uh, holding down in the center too, below, so they, yeah. uh, they've they so far been able to hold that yeah. position. Uh, there is a f Union flag, oh no, Confederate flag on the floor on the Union feet, so... That's going to harm whoever that regiment was. So, well, here comes yep, here comes Venom at the top, though. We'll see how this oh. counterattack goes. Oh, yeah. So Venom's now moving up. Confederate units are moving to counter the U Union here. So we got two core and fourth versus the SB under Venom. I think Venom's dead now. Yeah, so, but he, he's got the flag right there. I expect him to Yeah, he's got the here. flag, so we'll see how the regiment does without him. A uh, good regiment with NCOs should be able to perform well without their officer. In fact, actually. one of them calls for a charge. Yeah, um, although I think they delayed it just too much, and the Union might take that and wipe them out, which it looks like they are going to no, do. Fort Georgia came up just in time, it looks like, and... Yeah. That is going to work out very well yep. for them. Look at those tickets that's, now, halfway yeah, down. That's, that's definitely good for the Union there. They've really pushed some losses. Yeah. And, I'm, I'm and that center fast. is still holding very yeah. nicely. So they've, they're really tying down those Confederate units, which is really what you need to do. You need to tie down units and exploit an opening. Um, otherwise, if you're just going to be walking up a hill with enemies looking at you all the time, you, you're not going to make breakups. But this push here on the Union left is that's exactly what you need to see. Um, I mean, it's cut out the artillery shelling the Union. Now, now AGL in the center has been wiped out. And he's coming to the south. And yeah. He's coming to the south. Close. Yeah, it looks like there's been some serious wiping for the Confederates. Uh, and the Union's moving into position to now oppose them. So, 52nd New York moving to oppose the Union on the top of the hill with, so, 4th Georgia and. Yep. So it looks like it's primarily two core now. Uh, although, f 6 Texas coming up to reinforce them there. Yep, they're kind of in a box now. Union's got them uh, in a bit of yeah. a bowl. Union's definitely doing some good work here. Um, SB's artillery under Sergeant Leo here. He's gonna. So he's about to shoot down in that Union center. So we'll see how effective he is with that. Um, oh, yeah, no oh, Jumbo's just called enough and over. So center's moving in. Union center's moving in. Um, I mean, they got, they're getting them close to breaking here. Um, yeah, I so think I be, that's probably a good call by Jumbo because there's no real opposition and he'll be able to get into that proper flank of... Third Alabama, who are concentrating on the ANV in that corner. So that's that's definitely a good move uh, by Jumbo to get that proper flank. Which, oh, and, he, and he's in a good position to cap too yeah. here as yeah. as that is getting lower there, and lower. There goes Alabama. They didn't take many losses, but they're pulling out, uh, which is a wise decision personally. Um, otherwise, you're going to just waste your tickets there because you, you don't have tickets to waste just standing there. No, oh, but now that frees up. Um, oh, there was, there was the shot charge on the left. Oh. Charging SB is charging into 4th and 2nd Corps. Oh, this, um, if they don't win this, yeah. this could be a huge ticket no. problem. 
Second core's got... Four, uh, yeah, SP's going to wipe out the fourth and elements of the second. Um, but the sixth Texas had moved up to re uh, reinforce. But it looks like now LFL are moving in to assist this Frank. And... I, it, it might be the end of the left flank here, depending on the moves of the Confederates. I mean, I mean, the problem though is how much does it cost you, and are you in a position? Exactly. To, like I said, with Jumbo right, right there, ticket. that ticket bar, that's get, that's teetering close to that lowest morale stage. I mean, oh, Hulk has called in a charge. I mean, he, he died instantly, but here we go. Oh, third Alabama's oh, moving into assist there, and uh, Jumbo with the 20th is moving into assist in the mosh pit in the left flank. I'm very worried about this. They're very far away from the point. And look at Jumbo. Yeah, then, look what Jumbo's yeah. doing. Yeah, and the Confederates now in relatively poor order, moving into the second core formation that is formed up and firing volleys into them. That's going to inflict some losses. Yeah, here comes Killer too, from here, the side. Here comes Killer with a very significant force. Confederates wisely pushing out. Venom wisely forming his men up at the top of the hill. Uh, it might be too late, though. Well, here it is. What? Here it is. That's it. They're breaking. Uh, oh, oh and Venom's move. All these men to move right as a charge comes in. Oh, dear. That, that's that's unfortunate for uh, yeah, that's unfortunate for Venom there. Uh, he ordered his men to right face and oh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, again, my problem with it is you know he's fighting over something that doesn't matter right now. What's, look what's going on towards point. Looks yeah, I mean, he was so isolated in that position, and all he's done there is I mean, he's wiped out that Union front there, but. At what cost? I mean, yeah. six, well, six Texas two. is on point. Jumbo's on yeah. point. Killer's on point. Two, now you got to yeah. charge in. Two Confederate units were lost on that left flank. They were wiped. And I'm juicy. Second Lieutenant Juicy here. He's bringing up on. He's moving on to the left as well. So I'm not sure what the play there is. Um, so you got two. I mean, it's on that far flank. There. You got Slaughter here in the center. But again, you got to yeah. charge this, this Union force off. It can happen. I'm hearing, I'm hearing some sort of alarm beacon. I mean, the alarm should be blaring. It, this is this. Is <laughs> now, Killer's on the point. Now, now, uh, let's see, uh, McIntyre's on the point. Now you got to fight this major force on the point. Look, they can happen now. Yeah. Yep. There we go. So you got Williamson here pushing in. Even if you win this, though, you're going to lose so many damn tickets, you're going to be close to the last stand. Yeah. we just moved in. He's... Whew, that's going to be a bit of a crazy battle there. Fourth Georgia in there. 39th New York. ANV. Two core. Yep. Yeah, this is... This is one of those charges. Here we go. LFL's coming in. Hoka's coming in with his regiment. They're going to volley. I mean, they're holding, but it, it's, you know, at what cost? Yeah, it's, they don't really have the tickets. Again, not only are they defending, so they've got the lower tickets, but they're lower morale stage as well. So, they're even lower. Yep, um, and we got 10 minutes. They got plenty of time. They have held, though, for now, pretty well. Yeah, I mean, they've, they've held position, and the Union is completely wiped out on this side. Other than the, uh, who are these guys? Other than the fourth, oh, the, the mosh pit of the Union down here, the, the foot of the hill. I mean, it's, no, it's, it's a mosh pit, but it's got three flags. It's, it's not going to oh, take yeah. too long to yeah, get so, that back. Yeah, it's it's not going to take long. You got that excellent five second respawn timer with information. I think it is. And. Oh, uh, yeah, five seconds for yeah, information. You, yeah. yeah, you're gonna. See, oh, see, see. so we've got some Confederates here. John Pick with the 52nd, or Beak, sorry, with the 52nd New York pushing up to the fence line. Uh, yeah, this is a little gutsy right now, to be honest with you. Gutsy, but the Union are not looking at him. Um, wisely, he's not decided to stand in proper for line formation. Um, so you can't, can't, get, caught, you can't yeah. get caught though, man. There's a lot of tickets you yeah. can get caught. Two core moving up to counter him, it looks like. 
Yeah, I'd hop over the fence and cut off his retreat if I if I was too cool. Yeah. Yeah, I would try that. Um, I don't know what's what their plan is going to be. Luckily, I'm seeing some flags being picked up, which is good on the Union side. You want those flags? You don't want to run all the way across the corner. Again. Uh, Eight Florida once again. They've moved up. They're doing some skirmish action. Oh, now we got oh, now we got uh, Mac and Jumbo in the center. The the Georgia boys. So I like to oh. call you guys when you. Oh, it looks together. like yeah, looks like it's some sort of general charge, general advance here. We got the. We got AMV oh, on the that, killer. That canister hurt though. <laughs> oh yes, it did. I'm seeing just bodies. Yeah, that that really cut that that down. But killer's moved up with his regiment. Well, hit with his formation that is, and they've moved up. But I think without the support of that right hand charge, which got wiped pretty much, that's gonna be some pretty. They're gonna be out in the open there. Uh, I mean, yeah, they will. But again, I mean, just looking at the tickets, it's... it's, it's again, yeah, I was say, again, they're, they're got, not you're, doing yeah, too bad. You're the attacker, you're ahead. You've got tickets to spend. You can, you can have some unsuccessful yeah. charges as long as you're hurting the other team. It's not like they're really being focused down. I mean, the Confederates on... We've got, obviously, the, fi the 51st SB. So the SB there. They're focusing on A and V. LFL are formed up. And they're, they're also firing AMV. We got six Texas doing a charge against the Yardie again, which is yeah. tick wonderful tickets. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of people complain about people farming the artillery, but it's going to take down those tickets. You've got to defend your artillery position. I mean, third Alabama came over, but not before they took him out. Yep. So six Texas six will be Texas. killed to a man, but. Hey, Sol Marco Agrippa, are you going to. He's the sole survivor, and he's shot in the back, and that is the entirety of six Texas on that right flank, dead. Yeah, now, not to but, beat a dead uh, horse, but yeah, ticket, they keep going down, you know. They did their job, though. They they all died in formation, pretty much, whereas those artillery boys, they died either in skirmish or out of line. Yep. Um, so they took some serious ticket loss. I mean, that ticket bar pretty much says it all. Now, Union does have to be careful, though. There is, you know, you can throw this away. But, yeah, um, it's it's they're in the lead with tickets wise, but they still they still have six minutes left to take this hill. Oh, and good. Williamson is moving forward here on the uh, oh. CSA left. Yeah. Okay. So I've seen this play a number of times this match. Confederate units pushing forward. Unfortunately, I can't tell what his actual order was, other than. There's a lot of shouting, and everyone's starting forming up and shooting. I, I mean, I, I usually with him, I'm like, okay, whatever they start doing, I'm assuming that's what he told them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, to be fair, if he called for formed uh, two ranks to his left, they did it perfectly. Oh, they, that, that they, was they form ranks swift. very quickly, these guys. Oh, yeah. Honestly, that was a very lovely thing. And that volley, definitely a very good volley. I'm seeing a lot of dead Union men going down here. Yeah, yeah, the Union's taking some serious losses here now, with that line no longer obstructed by any of the fences. So, it's now, what's the Union's move? And I guess their move is a general advance across the hill well, once well, again. I, mean, I think that's the play, because Williamson's out of position to contest the point. I think it's a good move. I mean, you've got one whole, a very, very disciplined very unit down here. Yep. That means they're no longer defending on the point. Oh, Jumbo holds on point. Everybody else charges in. Yeah, okay, that's an interesting move. Um, Mac, Mac's there, where the 4th Georgia is, is not existent. Oh, okay, Mac well, is right they, behind. Yeah, 4th Georgia went into the charge. I see. Oh, okay, see, I see, the 4th went into the charge. It looks like they got wiped in that charge. They overextended, in my opinion. Uh, and there goes Mac, he's dead. Uh, and now the Confederacy are going to counter charge the Union. Ah, oh, but it's a very trickle. These are, you know. Yeah, it's, it's a trickle, and the Union outnumber them anyway. Uh, oh, but here comes uh, Williamson, Williamson got with a rear charge. Yeah. That, that's going to seal the deal for the Confederacy, from what I can tell from here. They just have the numbers. So, excellent move uh, in the center. But yeah, it worked, it worked over, out. The overextending. I feel the overextending by the Union really cost them that point. And so the Confederacy is going to... And if you look at the tickets, it's they've evened it out once again. Oh, that's, this is pretty key here. And, and I think that worked. I think I think you're right. If the Union had stayed on point and made it a gunfight, mm. I think yeah. they'd be uh, in a much better position. I don't know if they would have won it, but I think they could have gotten them down to the last stand. Yeah, whether they would have won that position or not, it's hard to say. Um, 
but they would not have lost as many tickets as they did in like they wouldn't have tra- they would have traded a way better price. Uh, now, now I would say this is a good opportunity. If Williamson can knock these guys out as they come up for good yep. tickets and get them on the final push. It looks like the entire Confederate Army is also now, well, most of them moving into the center. So SB and LFL are going to hold back, um, which is probably a good move because if they can get to that fence line first, they're in an excellent position to repel. Uh, Reinforcement yeah, Union yeah, yeah, regiments yeah, coming up. Well, I mean, you got you got that L formation. Third Alabama is just shooting down this line right now. And just again, if you can get them down to final push, you can get the CS Union to panic a little bit here. Yeah, I mean, it's getting close now. I mean, the Confederacy has set back kill box. Um, Union's got that left flank. Um, all that is. And there it is. Confederacy is down to last stand. So, that's good for the Union, but will it pay off now? Uh, it's going to come down to how quick they can get them on the final push. Exactly. How how well can they get, or how, how will they perform? Artillery unit, I think there's a lot of friendly fire there by the uh, Confederacy. Do not want friendly fire at this stage with artillery. No, now the, uh... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Like, right now it's looking pretty right. good. So the 3rd Alabama has crossed over, but they've now got their flank exposed by, um, two core, who are going to move in and exploit that. Like uh, I mean, 50 seconds kind of as a guard. And there we go. Final yeah. push for the Union. Yeah, 116. That's oh, not wait. a lot of time. Union, 6th Texas, ANV, they're pushing up the hill. Oh, I like this play here. Uh, yeah, no, this is a good play. This is good. Um, they've got the Confederacy with Williamson hot on their heels, but they have charged straight into the SP. But it looks like it didn't pay off, and Union force there got wiped out as well. And... I think that is pretty much it for the Union, because no, you've got a few stragglers I mean, here and you there. Got, you got two flags here with Derek going in the center. Yeah. That's that's still a decent amount of force. All they got to do is contest the point. Yeah, they got that. I mean, they oh, don't, they don't the need, they don't, yeah, they don't need to charge. pushing out. Yeah, they don't, the CSA is going to charge now. So as long as they yeah. kind of get set on point and, and force the CSA to charge you, I think yeah. you got oh, it. Oh, Hannister, I just saw a few men go down from that. Good shot. No, by the Union the charges SP. in. I think they make a mistake. They just need to kind yeah, of. Yeah, they've charged in. They are charging in. I mean, this could still theoretically work. They've got numbers. They've got the numbers, yeah. so it could work. As you can see. Now it looks like a relatively even-numbered fight here. Last-minute volleys, or shots off by um, both sides here. Um, oh, but see, they're contesting it. This is the key now. Here it is. They're contesting it. They've pushed it into overtime. So. And more Union reinforcements are rushing in from the rear. This is this is going to be down to the wire. No, it's 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 down to the wire. Oh man, it's it's super close here. But I think it's super close. I think the Union scraped I think it. The, I think the Union just barely got it. Yep, that's because I mean, look at the reinforcements for the Union coming in. Nope, they got it. It's over. Yep. Yeah, there's no Confederacy left. It's just about nope. just a few stragglers and yep, that's they, it really. They took that's it. Good job for the Union. Nailed Very costly it. battle. All Very right. Very costly battle. Um, Interesting to see what the kill ratios will be. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, as we're waiting on for the uh, clock to go out, any final thoughts on the map? Once this, similar to how the two sides performed last match, it was back and forth, really, wasn't it? I was seeing Union made some serious gains, and then through either skill on the Confederacy part, or a little bit of a blunder through the fog of war on the Union's part, or a bit of both, actually. Um, they lost their gains, lost some tickets, and then the Confederacy would sort of lose that advantage they just gained through some sort of either... Well, mostly through overcommitment, really. Um, and that is a big um, issue you've got to keep under control with overcommitment, especially defending. You can't overcommit too much, otherwise you will take start taking losses after that advantage and it might even turn it around and make it even worse than if you'd stayed where you were every ticket matters especially on the especially on the defending map as a defender but so the confederacy have been beaten on that one let's have a look at the tickets 
have a look at the maneuvers on the map. Yeah. And by the way, that uh, thanks again to Mr. Fuji. There is a link in the description to the Fort Georgia Discord if you are interested in uh, going hunting for scalps and uh, spines oh, oh, yeah, and other yeah. such objects. Yeah, yeah, you can always come join us if you want. If you're just watching and perusing. And what uh, uh, what events do you guys do, or like what times uh, do you guys usually play? So obviously, I'm mostly with the European time zones. So obviously, we do UECs, and uh, we also on the Sundays. Obviously, we do the HRE event, the Historical Rules event. Um, that's always fun. Um, we do also do North American time zone events. I don't get to attend them very often. Uh, some, you know, obviously it's about one or two in the morning for me. Um, but we do attend them. So if you're on North American time zone, you're always free to come down there. Um, we, we do both events. Obviously, primarily we're European event focused though. Oh, yeah. And uh, thanks again. Again, guys, check out Fort Georgia if you are looking for it. Thanks again, and I will see you guys next time.